The United States of America will provide Ukraine with weapons as part of a new $400 million military aid package, according to the White House and Andriy Yermak, the head of the office of the President of Ukraine. The text specifies that Biden has instructed Secretary of State Antony Blinken to allocate $400 million for Ukraine's needs. It should be noted that this is the second military aid package to Ukraine from the United States after Congress allocated funds for this at the end of April. According to Yermak, the new U.S. package includes additional ammo for Patriot and NASM systems, Stinger anti-aircraft missiles, more HIMARS systems with ammunition, 155mm and 105mm artillery shells, and equipment for integrating Western launchers, missiles, and radars with Ukrainian systems. The Pentagon specifies Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicles, M113 Armored Personnel Carriers, Anti-Mine Vehicles with Ambush Protection, and Trailers for Hauling Heavy Equipment. Tow Missiles, Javelin and at 4 Anti-Tank Systems, high-precision aviation ammunition, harm missiles, small arms and ammunition, explosive ammunition and demoning equipment, coastal and river patrol boats, and means of chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear protection, are all included in the assistance package. Prior to this, U.S. assistance to Ukraine had been suspended for several months due to funding running out. Immediately following the decision of Congress, U.S. President Joe Biden announced the first military aid package to Ukraine after a considerable hiatus. Later, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky clarified that the package included long-range Adikms missiles, which Kiev had long been asking Washington for. The total value of the weaponry included in the package amounted to billions of dollars. Russia is planning to launch an attack on Ukraine's northern Kharkiv region with an estimated 50,000 troops by late May and early June, Ukrainian military observer Kostyantin Mashevets told The Economist. The expert explained that Russia has already concentrated 35,000 troops north of the Ukrainian border in these areas. Mashevet stressed that Kharkov is reliably defended. Speaking about the possible scenarios of Russian attack, the expert said Russia might be planning to isolate Kharkiv by seizing the road to capital Kiev and advance to Kharkiv to create a defense zone for Russia's Belgorod city on the border. The commander of the 92nd Brigade, Pavlo Fedosenko, warned that the Russian army may also end up in the Dnipro, Kharkov and Krivoy Rog cities in a few weeks if Ukraine does not fight for Konstantinovka a small town in Ukraine's Donbass region and Drushkovka. It should be noted that Ukraine maintains tens of thousands of troops in the north of the country, far from the active battlefronts. Ukrainian Commander-in-Chief Oleksandr Sersky recently said he was sending more artillery and tanks sorely needed on active fronts to bolster northern forces. <laughs>